Hey guys, it's Paul here, and it's time for unboxing. This is the second deck set I got from the two deck sets. Uh, this is Blue Ward. I mean, kind of Blue Ward, actually. You wanna help prepare Blue Ward? <laughs> yep. Um, I got it prepared. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I really like Blue Ward because of the art, really, and I like his art. art. The art is actually his kind of art style. So... I initially want to get just the word only, but I, in the end I got Shrinu as well, because, well, I think Shrinu are pretty good, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, um, well, for this kind of unboxing. So here's the deck, the deck, the box itself. You've got the word uh, all over, and you've got, just seeing this Shrinu one, you can check the unboxing if you want, if you guys like to. So we'll open the box real quick. I just finished sleeping up my, my Shrinu. Now let's do it for the word as well. So, yep. Alright. So, um, just like Strenui, uh, and unlike the first two deck sets, let's real quick, you know, let's see. Yep, so, uh, right, let's open it up, take the sleeve out, and in the box, just like the Strenui deck set, you get the deck set itself, and you get a sleeve as well. So, we'll first off, get the sleeves out. Pretty good. Uh, it's nice that you come to sleeve. I don't like, you don't like the tokens that come from the previous deck sets. And we'll take that out as well, and we'll get the deck itself out of the box. Which is just, uh, always stuck. I do not know how these things work. Jeez, okay. Um, sorry, wait, hold on. And, uh, there we go. Can we got it? Can we get it? Can we get it out? Come on. Uh, I don't damage the thing. Jeez. So what is that these decks that are repacked nicely? I know you're not supposed to get out of the way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, no is the damage. It's, yeah. That. Okay, okay, never mind. Just that's a piece of whatever. Okay, so here's the deck set itself. So, uh, pretty neat. Um, really liked the war itself. So, yep. Let's just get straight to the unboxing. This is more, I'm more prepared with this one compared to the new one. So, alright, in the deck set itself, you get four copies of Dracar the War. His skill is Auto Mega Circle, Ritual Free. You must have. Okay, you might, you might have three or more cards, three or more great ones in the drop. Um, at the beginning of your right phase, you may return two normal units to the bottom of the deck, and for that turn, you can stride without paying the cost. If, the next time you will stride. So, yeah. And second skill is Auto and Vanguard. When this unit is thrown upon, you come across one to try to rearguard, such as you take off two great ones or lower, call the rearguard for the deck. And you get one, you get one into the falling, and you get. Uh, free in the common foiling. Pretty neat. And then you get Leofall. Leofall skill is when this unit, uh, auto the Vanguard Circle, when this when this unit is rolled upon by a Great Tree Luar, you get the last one, and you may draw a card. Second skill is un in, in drop Ritual Free. Um, it, if your Great Four or if a Great Four Luar is placed on the Vanguard Circle, you may discard a card and call this guy to Vanguard Circle. Pretty good, actually. Uh, yeah, this one cop you get you get four copies, one to where foiling in. Uh, the tree and the common foil, the common foil, which is in the back of the deck. And you get Knees, which is your crash generator. For great one, nothing special. Root, your starter, again, nothing special. Because they're, they're good in that foiling. Okay, so this is your, your strife out, your great tree strike drawer, I guess. So, seven Cloud Dragon, continuous, rear guard circle, GB2, ritual free. Uh, your 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 this unit gets the seven power. So you have three you have three in your drop zone. Then you can actually three three regards, three free great ones in your drop zone, and then you can it gets the seven power. Second skill is just like any other strider strider fodder. Basically, you can draw a card you use for stride. You get a uh, free cop. You get one one two of friends. You get three in commons. One the other ones in the back. So yeah, two of them in the main deck. And you get more fessa. More fessa is more, it's, I really like the art from more fessa. Pretty neat. Okay, his her skill is tattoo is in drop. This unit gets this card gets minus great one, so it treats the great one and drop. Not like I guess the V one, which is like you know, I mean it's pretty much the same as the G, right? It's just that this this have generate it's like straight away a great one in drop really. So her second skill is uh, auto and regress ritual free. Um, when this unit attacks, if you're have, if you have a the white crest, you you for that battle this unit gets found power. Then if you have two or more G zone units face up, come as one. Uh, switch your deck for a card with ritual ability, call the river and shift the deck. So, a little bit more restricted, but still, you know what, it is still fine. Uh, if you don't have foil off, it's fine. You get four copies, one foil, three in common, and you have, uh, 
you have a uh, Dragsaber Ezra's, which is your PG. Pretty neat. Abyssal Owl. Now, unlike the normal Strike Force in a Strike Strike, this is slightly different. It's the same skill you can search for a Luard if you discard him and you search for a deck or draw for a Luard. Uh, but instead of Strike Skill, because, because Luard can strike himself, can strike without paying the cost, uh, his skill, his second skill is Auto on Drop, which will free. Uh, for that, if you're, for that turn, during a turn, if you have a Luard, uh, if you have a Luard Vanguard, I think it's supposed to be, yes, if you're, yes, if your Vanguard's a Luard, so you can, you can bind, you can take two single with the team and bind it, and you become which one. So it's a counter deck, but again, it's kills, kills for ritual, but it's, it's, it's good, it's a good, uh, counter, I, 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 I suppose. Um, you have uh, Semias, which is a really good card for this deck. Um, her skill is his skill, whatever. Uh, Continuous Regards like Ritual Free. If you have a Luai Crest, you just unit gets to the power. So it's a tanky booster, tank attacker. Second skill is when this unit is based on Regards like Cycle other than from the battle phase. Uh, if you have a Luai Vanguard, you may look at the top two cards of the end, call, call one of them. You may call up to one of them uh, to Regards Cycle and put the rest of them on the deck. At the end of the turn, if you did call that card, you retire it at the end of the turn. So, pretty much food for your, uh... It's basically food for, uh... Drag... Drag Strider. You get one in foil, three in, three in um... Common. Uh, you have... Preservation Angel. Uh, on Conduce, on Rigor, on Guardian Circle, which will free. This unit gets Intercept and plus Fire and Shield. Uh, I'm not gonna rerun that, but... It's a good op it's a good badge option if you want to play that. It's a, it's, it's an okay card. So you have Luminosity Angel. Oh sorry, Luminosity Wizard, sorry. Luminosity Wizard. Um Continuous on Rear Circle, GB1, Ritual Free. Uh when this during a turn that this unit is on the Rear Circle, this unit gets the power. Then second skill is uh auto on auto when when this unit is I believe well, this unit is based on the rear circle. Uh, if you have a Luai Crest, you may switch as one. And then, your choose one of your Vanguards and gives plus five power, I believe. Yeah. Not as prepared, but yeah. And um, the triggers, you get the, uh, re the reprinted Carol T. I mean, I know, I get people don't really, I don't know, people don't get, don't really like the Carol T. I understand that, but I think for budget wise, this is still good. Especially if you're playing with some of the cards in the deck, which you have, do have Twin Drive, which is basically your uh, Sun Clouds. Your Kettle OT. These are the uh, Kettle Crits that are printed in the, uh, what's my call it? The, the Festival Collection. So, yep, you got yep, all of those. And we'll get to the Strides. Oh my god. The the gold on that thing is really nice. Okay, you have Drag Starter. So, Drag Starter Duart. Uh, to strike him, you need to discard a Luar of Virtue Higher to strike him. I mean, you can, you can use, uh, then you can use, um, uh, you can use Luar's free strike skill, I guess, I guess I'll call that. Alright, so his skill is auto, I'm going to go GB2, Ritual 7, which is a little bit hard to pull off, but considering you can superior call, it's, it's actually not as hard to think. Um, when this unit attacks, uh, when this unit attacks, uh, if you have five or more cards with ritual in front of field with ritual ability, for the battle, this unit gets ten thousand and crit. Then you try two rear guards and discard a Luar Grade Three. Um, this unit gets one drive and basically it's battle dog. You, you can't guard everyone's higher. So you get one SP and three in triple foiling. And then next you have a uh, drag driver. This is a pretty good card as well. Uh, strike skill just just generates the same thing as well. But his skill is Vanguard, on Vanguard Circle Auto Ritual Free. When this unit attacks, combat once for the junior face up. Uh, search your deck for a card with ritual ability called the Regret Shuffle deck. So you get one in SP and three in Trevor Foiling. You get a Crest, pretty good. Uh, say again, it's just like all the all the ones you you deal, they all come in the same ability. The, the last skill is basically is that at the end of the, end of your turn, if you did not pay the cost for Stride, you can choose a critical from your drop and put it on the deck. So pretty interesting. And spare cards, you do get uh, free Leo Falls. I don't know why you want to put Leo so on but I think Prima gets it works. And you want extra summer clouds. So that is it for the unboxing of the Dwarf deck set. Uh, I free this series journey. I free. I'm gonna see this up now and maybe test a few games later on, and we'll see how it goes. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this unboxing, and stay tuned for more. Peace.